Right, what's happening guys and girls? So we're going to go over tips. The tips I recommend for you guys for when you've had that bad weekend of dieting, you've uh, binged out, you've been out partying, uh, or you've just stayed in and you've decided to overeat on that takeaway or that cheat meal and it turned into a cheat day or cheat days or whatnot. So here are a few tips that I like to use, so let's get going. Tip one, water. Make water your friend, right? One uh, rule that I like to use is I make water my job. Drinking water is my job. Um, I drink around seven liters a day. This is uh, one liter, so that's about seven liters a day. Um, sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a bit more. But yeah, that sounds like a lot of water, yeah, I know. And you will be pissing a lot. 4.5 liters is to a gallon. So if you work in gallons, that's how you can work out. But yeah, I drink seven liters a day, uh, or I try and aim for seven liters a day. Um, I'm gonna get going with this bottle now. Tip number two, guys, yeah, is remind yourself what you're doing. Remind yourself the goals that you set yourself out for. So them days that you've binge eat and you're feeling sluggish, you feel like you're you're completely bloated, uh, you feel fat, whatever the case is, yeah. Remind yourself what you're doing this for, yeah? Remind yourself what the goal was for and remind yourself why you was on that diet. And so, if it is uh, to lose weight, if you're trying to gain muscle, you're just trying to get healthier, remind yourself that. So on them days that you've binge, de uh, binge eating and you feel really terrible, you feel like you don't you, you don't want to do nothing anymore, you just want to sit on the sofa and, in other words, eat your way to misery again. Um, sit there and remind yourself what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it. Tip three, guys. Track everything. Track your uh, goals, track everything that you've been eating, all your workouts that you're doing. Literally track everything you do. It might seem impossible, it might seem a mission. It ain't that hard, guys, right? I track everything I do, um, every weights that I lift, every reps that I do, uh, every food that I consume as well. With the food, I use my fitness pal sometimes. I like to check my macros, uh, make sure I'm hitting all my macros on point. I use this um, my fitness pal app. Um, you literally, it can track everything throughout the day, your carbs, your fats, your proteins, sodium, sugars, fibres, vitamins, it can tra um, track everything. Write down what you had on that bad day, so if it was a, a slice of pizza or if it was a whole pizza, write that down and remind yourself that's what you ate and you felt shit when you ate that. So then you move on and then you write down and plan your, ne your uh, day ahead. You have to write down your meals that you're going to eat for the day, you have to track out your whole macros throughout the day. Write that out, plan that out for a whole day, spread that between how many meals you have through a day, if it's three, four, five, uh, two, whatever, you know. Plan them out for the whole day, get on track and get on to it. Another tip, um, I'm a bit lost on how many tips we're up to at the minute, but another tip that I uh, commonly use is is taking that step, right? Not listening to all the negative shit that's going in your head, you know, you're beating yourself up too much. Just go for it. Take that first step, that first step, that's the one, one that counts the most. Get out and get to the gym, right? Don't think about uh, the previous day and what you ate and how you feel now. Just ignore everything and take that first step. So on that note, I'm about to train as well. So we're going to take that first step together, right? So just grab all our bits when we are off. We're about to take that first step together. Just get out the door. That's all that matters. Right. Here we go. We're taking the step. Goodbye house and hello gym time. This is a... Uh, UK weather for you. Right, this is the first step. This is the one that counts the most. Getting out, and just getting to the gym. Just get the job done. Don't think about the past, don't think about what you've done. Just get out there, get that workout done, and you'll feel a lot better. Another tip, a lot of people like to use music. Music helps lift us, uh, music helps 
get us in that mood, lift up the vibes and that, get us in back into that positive mood. So wherever tune it is, just get the radio on, get your headphones on, wherever it is, get that playlist going. I know a lot of people have their gym playlist. Get that raving through your head, get it going through your ears, the music's pumping, just get going. In the middle of the back, I'm so cool. Everybody wanna hide. All of this half a witch with a broke UK, I smell like a rose, you can hold you. Worldwide by coast, low up niggas out. Trying to use uh, my phone here as a tripod. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see me. Um, just finished off a session now in Metroflex. Great, great, great pump, great atmosphere. So, this is going on to my next tip to help you get back on track. Um, the tip is so surround yourself with people that you know are positive, uh, uplifting, their mindset's in the correct place. These people will pass their energy and their vibes into you and they'll help lift you up, right? Uh, Metroflex, I love this place, it's uh, like my second home. Uh, the guys in there are they're so uplifting, they're all positive. It's like one big family in there and you know they will, they will completely uplift you. Uh, so if you're feeling shit, you're having, like I said, just about this video, if you're having a shit moment, uh, you've been steeped the day before, whatever, or if you're just generally down in life or whatever, this pla is the place. Um, for you, it could be somewhere else. It might be surrounded by family, uh, it might be friends, uh, in an office where you work, it, it could be wherever. Um, but wherever that place is, surround yourself with the people that uplift you are positive minded and uh, they've got that mindset of you know achieving stuff and always being um, happy and positive in life so that's another tip for you guys to get back on track surround yourself with the right people make sure you keep the negative people away because there will be people out there that are negative and they want to try to bring you down um, you know they they might they might see what you're you're doing with your life and because they can't do it they're gonna try and bring you down to their level and that's jealousy guys right because they can't get to the, your level that you are achieving and uh, they're jealous of that so what they're gonna try and do is they're gonna try and pull you back down to their level so then they can become bigger than you but don't let them have don't let them have that power over you okay so keep them people away keep them far away as possible if and the, the thing is, yeah, unfortunately, some of these people will be like your friends. Some of these will be your family. If you have to move them away, if you have to take them out of your circle, that's what you got to do if you're serious about the success that you want to achieve, whatever it is in life. So, the negative people, get rid of them. Get them out of your circle. Keep your circle small, full of positive-minded people, and uh, help them. Let them help you lift yourself up. That's uh, tip. I'm a bit lost at the moment, that's tip 6 or 7, um, obviously you can keep track on what tip that is for you guys. Oh, what's up guys, um, back at home now, back in the kitchen, um, I will be spending a lot of my time in the kitchen, so that's where you get a lot of these uh, clips, you'll see me in the kitchen, I spend pretty much most of my life in here, I prep in here, I do, I do everything in it, but um, I didn't get any footage in Metroflex, so I got caught up talking to a few people and friends and that, um, I haven't been down there in a while, so got talking to them, and then I forgot to shoot some videos for you guys, but when I was in there, there was another tip that I wanted to provide for you guys, um, another one is uh, cardio, obviously the day after you binge eat, or, you know, the topic that we're on about, um, the first thing that everyone's got in their mind is, oh, I've got to do cardio, oh, I've got to do hours and endless amount, minutes of cardio, so, um, if you are going to do that, right, um, my best tip for you is choose the cardio you like best, right? Don't go doing cardio that you hate, you know? So, for example, if it's uh, running, you know, you hate running, you can't stand it, whatever, but the day after that massive binge and you feel like you've got to do the cardio, don't go doing running. If, if the running is on your schedule, it don't matter, you know? Um, one day of not running or whatever it is that's on your schedule, it doesn't matter, so... Pick a cardio thing that you enjoy, um, whether it's treadmill, run machine, swimming, uh, running, walking, walking the dogs, uh, bike ride, whatever it is. Pick your favourite cardio session, get out there and do it. You know, this makes it a lot easier for you when it comes to that day after that massive binge. Obviously, you're feeling so bloated and uh, it happens with a lot of uh, guys and girls that they feel like they've got to do cardio. They've got to do stupid amounts of cardio um, to burn this cheat meal off or cheat day whatever it is that you ended up doing yes it is correct you will have to do a lot of um, extra cardio if you have binged eat but um, the problem is is it depends on what you've eaten you know if you've eaten 
a whole pizza, uh, two packets of biscuits, uh, and uh, if you completely went all out and binged, um, you're going to have to be doing a hell of a lot of hours on the cardio machine, so it's not technically possible for you to be able to burn all that off um, in that one in that one day or that one cardio session that you're about to do. Um, obviously, it's a bit different if you had, let's say, you had a cheap meal and you're still feeling bloated after. You know, this all obviously depends on the situation that you're in. Some this might be referring to some people they've had a cheap meal and they're feeling unmotivated or they might have had a binge eat and they're unmotivated um, they may just be unmotivated in general you know you might not have even been binge eating or whatever and you're still trying to get that motivation so whatever it is um, some people like, like this is going to uh, cardio um, I'm going a bit off topic but yeah this is going down to cardio if you're going to choose cardio um, after the day you're feeling unmotivated and mainly when you've binged it or whatever, pick the cardio session that you enjoy best, alright? It makes it a lot easier for you. Right guys, so another tip and uh, probably going to make this the last tip for you lot. Um, nuts. Uh, nuts and snacking. Uh, you know, when it gets to that, especially late at evening, um, you're settling down, you're about to watch TV or whatever you're doing. This is where the hunger really kicks in, so you know you want something to snack on. Um, nuts. I like to snack on nuts throughout the day, um, mostly night time as well, because uh, nuts they're calorie dense, so they can be very filling as well. Uh, good little snacking tips if you're on the go, um, or like say late at night, get some nuts in. They're really good and they uh, crush that hunger feeling throughout the night, and they get you going throughout the night as well. So when you wake up, you're feeling good and you don't wake up in the night with that hunger feeling but guys I'm going to leave it there for you lot um, with the top tips that I think that will help you get back on track um, these are just this video here is just suggestions these are suggestions of uh, what I like to use to help me get back to motivated if I've had a bad day this is just tips that I like to use so this is me passing my suggestions on to you guys, um, I'm not saying that these will work for you and I'm not saying that you have to do these tips, they're just a device and they're just me sharing you uh, my advice. Um, so like I say, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the tips, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, it doesn't matter, you know, some people will benefit from it, some people won't. But I hope you did enjoy this video and until next time, I'll catch you guys soon.